Hey guys, welcome back to Mini Resin Chef, where we are a community of adult collectors and creators of miniatures. I'm your host, Resin Bell, and today we're doing something a little bit different. My daughter is getting married on Saturday, and I don't have time to make a regular crafting video this week because I am busy sewing all kinds of last minute things for the wedding. Um, so I thought today I would show you a little bit of the behind the scenes, um, how I decide what I'm going to make each week and uh, some of the things that are going to be coming up next month. So make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and let's get started. So I'm just going to show you some of the setup here. This is the all you can eat pantry on the left here that holds all the supplies well most of the supplies and I've got my girl in the center there and then the miniverse kitchen and then I have a drink station over to the right and this is my little um, kitchen island I guess and this is a little rotating lazy Susan that I created you can get those little clear plastic um, spinners on Amazon this is a two and a half inch one um, this is a cigar box that I altered I added a little shelf in the middle and I used some of the um, all-you-can-eat packaging to decorate it I put a little silicone mat on the top so that it's easy to clean up any uh, resin spills got this clip on the back to hold recipe cards and decorations so it's pretty handy to have there and that's what I use to work on this is the drink station over here and I picked picked up these little um, trash cans from Dollar Tree and I love that they have the little symbols so like I put my trash trash sort of in that one and then in the recycling one I put um, all the empty packaging that is like good for displaying like you know the, the containers in that one and so that's an easy way for me to put the empties somewhere uh, until later. And then this is not my idea, but I saw this on the Facebook group and it is a little lazy Susan using the tables flipped upside down and glued together with the stems. And they hold all of those resins and supplies like that. It gets a little tilty if you get it too tall. So keep that in mind if you're going to do those. But I used E6000 just to glue those parts together. And so this area is all kind of made up of different packaging from like the all you can eat and like the five recipe ones and you know different things like that and this is the kitchen I kind of built up a little platform for it because it wasn't tall enough to match the all you can eat and so all kinds of little things to store you know all the little ingredients and of course um, this is another little lazy Susan that I created for just the spices and it's just two tabletops and one table base um, glued on top of a little spinner. So this is my little organizer and I went through and found all of the food holidays that land on Tuesdays and kind of organized my months out of that. And then I went through and slowly am adding all of the recipes for that month. So let's say in May, we are coming up with, we have Mother's Day coming up. We have some raviolis, uh, National Strawberries and Cream Day. It's gonna have all kinds of strawberries and creams things. All of these are sorted out into months. And so I kind of pretty much have every week organized for the whole year. So there's lots of things coming up. So like I said, I am getting ready for my daughter's wedding this Saturday. So I don't have time to create a regular episode this week, but next week I am going to be going into full-time production to um, create all of the episodes for May. Um, because in May I am completely tearing apart my studio and redoing the entire thing which I will be showing not on Tuesdays uh, for Mini Resin Chef those episodes will be there but like later in the week um, so if you're interested in you know studio organization or like to see complete remodels then you know you might want to stay tuned for that because that's coming up 
So in addition to all of that storage in the um, all you can eat, I also have this, which is pretty cool because um, these have like little dividers so you can put small things, but like often a whole capsule's worth of foods won't fit in one small one. Um, so I take those dividers out and I have these nice long dividers and often you can get two sets in one of these which is weird because sometimes you can't get two, you can't get one set in one because sometimes the bottles are too long or like the accessories are too long. Um, so it helps to have them nice and long, but this is where I keep some of my um, duplicates or some of the um, recipe ingredients that are coming up in uh, episodes coming up pretty soon but this is a nice way to be able to see them all and display them like that and I want to show you my other place that I store things okay so there is my studio and then down here is my other area um, so <laughs> some people have asked this is a resin top that I created for this a long time ago. It's not quite finished off. Um, I'm just one of those projects, but um, so this actually is a buffet that used to belong to the Clintons, um, President Bill Clinton. Uh, <laughs> I got it from a couple um, locally. I live in Arkansas, his home state. So um, yeah, they had done all the silver paint to it and everything. It's been used really well over the last 40, 50 years. So, um, but anyway, here is all of my extra cake toppers. I got these little containers at Dollar Tree and they are perfect for holding. These are duplicate ingredients and those are duplicate resins. And then we have more duplicate ingredients. I have my empties. So like when I take things... So the little um, recycle bin, I put my um, dry ingredient containers in there and when it gets full, I transfer it over to that because, you know, at some point I plan to be doing things with them. Um, not anytime really soon, but then down here, this came from the Dollar Tree as well and this has extra um, pamphlets that come with it and like all kinds of different storage back in there. So that's handy to have down there and it's easy to keep the different things separated into those small containers. So that's another way that I organize my supplies. Okay, so for right now, I have my um, completed, most of them, some of them are displayed, but these are the different uh, weeks that I've done so far for Mini Resin Chef. Here we've got my little ramen and the St. Patrick's Day and you know all of my little things are in here for the different weeks. So it's like week one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, all of that. So right now that's what I've got those in. Those will be displayed differently once I get the studio finished. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be a fun idea. And all right. Okay, so I just thought I would show you the setup for how I do my videos. I use my phone and this is where my phone goes and then this little thing can turn for the different ratios, aspect ratio. Um, and then, you know, I've got, I've got the setup down there and that's how I film. And then this thing is just a clip on and it can go wherever I want it to. And then this is, you just do that loosen that up and this can tilt and move however I want it to to get close-up shots and all of that good stuff and that is a heart-shaped ring light and then I have another one up here I have an old um, drawer up there and these are two other drawers that I just painted and I put the back of those crates in there and so those are pretty handy to have and then I have storage on top that have storage inside and then all of the set design is made up of um, like this came from the all you can eat box and all of those pieces came from that and then I have another light clipped on over here to add a little bit more light the more lights you have from different angles the less um, shadows you get and the brighter it is for your video so those are um, easy ways all of these little clip-on lights have their own purpose so that's an easy way to do a little set 
Um, this is my little sort of mascot for Mini Resin Chef. She is a Rainbow High doll. Um, she was the recent uh, release with the um, skater. She came with a skateboard, a little um, cast for her arm. She's super cute. I just love her tur turquoise hair because often I have turquoise hair. So um, yeah, and I just created this little um, chef apron for her and it just ties in the back and that's what her little outfit looks like but um yes yeah, so, so lots and lots of things coming up uh here in the next month or so um so stay tuned for those and i will be back with a new mini resin chef episode next tuesday so stay tuned for that and i appreciate you guys watching and i hope you're having an awesome week and we'll see you next week on mini resin chef on tuesday as scheduled Ciao!